Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I'll be talking Jamal Adams to Dallas and Devontae Parker versus Stefan Gilmore. Some AFC East battling right now, um, but this is Al Kabir, the analyst. So today, like I said, I'll be talking Jamal Adams. Uh, we all heard the rumors that it was the Eagles, Niners, Dallas, it was a couple of the teams there, but they actually got this guy, Jamal Adams on camera, saying this. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up, bro? What's up, hey, you coming to Dallas? Hey, man, I'm trying, bro. And you see, he like, I'm trying, bro. So he, he's trying to get to Dallas, man. He, he really is, and um, Honestly, I think they need him more, man. They literally have nobody in the secondary. I believe they're going to feel the hurt from losing Byron Jones. They try to play him a lot. He didn't catch a lot of picks, but that guy was extremely athletic and he could guard, but he just didn't have the hands. That's why he's a cornerback. But they going to feel it. All they got in the back is Ha Ha Clinton Dix. And Ha Ha Clinton Dix, um, when he's with Chicago, he did have a decent year, but when he's with Washington, he really didn't do anything. The last time Ha Ha Clinton Dix had a good good year was with Green Bay, and that was back in 2016. He had five picks. Um, that's the most of his career, but they get 2016 on Ha Ha Clinton Dix, they could be a problem. Um, Chicago, he only had two, but with Washington, he ain't have any. So, I don't know. That secondary is it's not that good, man. I'm telling you, they're going to feel that hurt. They've been they a high-power offense. We can almost name everybody, C.D. Lamb, Michael Gallup. Um, but they might have to give him up to get Jamal Adams. But Michael Gallup, uh, Amari Cooper, Zeke, Dak. So, they, they got the high-power offense. I believe that um, they tight end Blake Jarwin will have a, a good year this year. So I believe this is his time. I believe they tried to force Jason Witten, but now he's out of town. So I believe Blake Jarwin will have a, a, a good year. But back to Jamal Adams. Once again, this guy's a stud, got about seven sacks, caught one pick, and he brought that pick back to the house. So he got picked in the touchdown for 61 yards. So I believe this Jamal Adams is the real deal. He only been in the league for three years, but at the same time, what is Dallas willing to give up? They might have to give away one of those pieces in that offense, um, plus probably two first rounders. So Jets are asking for a lot. And I believe Dallas can't handle nobody like Jamal Adams in the um, locker room because the way he speaks out. Now, if you want to go to a team that lose again, like the Jets, um, if he want to own an all in the business, um, Dallas is for you. But if you want to come and win, come to the come to the Eagles, man. Uh, forget them bum Cowboys. Come to the Eagles if you want to win. But um, all jokes to the side. But if he goes to Dallas, um, that that'd be fine. Uh, I would really like for us to have him, but. If he goes to Dallas, he they got more pieces. I believe he'll blend in a little more. But that that secondary week, man. I like the uh I like the Wolf Hunter. I like the Marcus Lawrence. Uh, I, I like that little set between them two. Uh I like Jared McCoy being there now. But other than that, they, they lost a lot of pieces, man. Alright. Number two. So let's get into Devontae Parker versus Stefan Gilmore. Uh, salute to Devontae Parker, man. Because every time I hear people talk about the AFC East, all I hear is the Bills, the Patriots, the Bills, the Patriots, the Bills, the Patriots. Devontae Parker is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't forget about us Dolphins. I believe two are there. Him. Um, I believe they got Jordan Howard and they got the dude um, Matt Breida from the 49ers. So don't sleep on that team, man. And they got Byron Jones from Cap from the Cowboys. So I believe this team 
They could be up and rolling, but back to the Devontae Parker versus Stefan Gilmore. So back in 2018, Stefan Gilmore posted a picture of him catching a pick over Devontae Parker, and he quoted, ignore him and go get the ball. And Devontae Parker posted, mind you, this is 2020, so when Stefan Gilmore posted this pick, that was on May 2nd of 2018. Yesterday, you got to think, yesterday was uh, June 21st of 2020. It's 2020. Stefan Gilmore posted this two years ago, folks. Two years. Devontae Parker decided to post a Norham and go attack the ball. And he mossed Stefan Gilmore. He mossed him. Man, this rivalry can get good, man. This telling the Dolphins is something to watch. Even though I think the Bills got the division, man. They got the better quarterback, the better team, the better defense, but the Dolphins could fight. I could see the Dolphins going nine to seven, man. I could see them at least going nine to seven. And salute to Devontae Parker. A lot of people don't give him his praises. I think he's up there with the Michael Thomas, the DeAndre Hopkins, and things of that nature because he always had not that good of a quarterback. Last year, he, he got over a thousand yards, the uh, his first thousand yard season. But look who his quarterback's been. Even last year, he had Josh Rosen and Ryan Fitzpatrick. Like, come on, you got DeAndre Hopkins. He always had, uh, well, not always had, but he got Deshaun Watson there. Uh, you got Michael Thomas, and Michael Thomas had Drew Brees. But what, what we'll see once Drew Brees retired, we'll see how good Michael Thomas really is. Um, DeAndre Hopkins, he's with a new team. I believe he got the best hands in the league, but we'll see. We'll see how they are with different quarterbacks, but the quarterbacks they have were, were established. So um, salute to this rivalry. Let's watch this one real close. Remember how Odell and Josh Norman used to go at it? These two might go at it. This might be a great 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 battle for the AFC East so let's let's get it let's get this started man Devontae Parker been talking man he ain't playing no games first was with Michael Thomas and he ain't playing man this guy ain't playing maybe I, I like this guy because he burnt the Eagles but this guy don't play man this guy don't play but tell me what you think who you think gonna win the AFC East and uh do you think Jamal Adams will be a great fit for Dallas? But this is Alcabeer, the analyst. I'm Ghost.